Hello everyone, it's Prajal Patek this side and I'm watching my YouTube channel Pai Guru. Friends, this is our first game tutorial series of this year and in this series we'll be building a dots and boxes game, okay, using Pi game. So this is the basic concept of dots and boxes. I hope you have already played this. We have number of dots on a given sheet of paper and what we do is we try to create a box using those dots, okay, like see, there's one box created here. So whoever creates this box by completing the edges will get a point. Okay. So you can just uh, create an edge anywhere in this given number of dots by clicking or by writing. Okay. So this is what we are going to implement using Pygame. Now let's see how can we do it using Pygame. Okay. Once again, the source code is available in the video description. You can just go there and download the source code and first play it, then start making or start doing the coding part of this game okay so let's get started and we'll cover the rest of the basics with this with the code okay so first of all the thing that we will need is the pygame library and we can simply use it uh, by pip install pygame if you have already installed it you can just import it in your file okay the next thing is we need to define the width and height of our game window so you can define it like this the screen equals width comma height equals uh, currently I will be taking 300 by 300 uh, pixels as my width 300 pixels as my width and 300 pixels as my height and these two values will get again stored in a variable called screen the next thing is I want to create a cell size of 20 now what is a cell cell is this one box see this is uh, this is one box this is another box this is third, uh, another box like this okay so uh, any box within these four dots is a cell. So I want a cell size of 20 pixels. Then I want a padding of 20 pixels. Uh, what is padding? I'll tell when I will implement it. Okay. Basically, it's a gap between the border of the window and the cell and uh, the dots. Okay. Then we need to find the number of rows and columns that we will be having in our game, and we can just find it like this. Width uh, minus Four multiplied by padding, and then uh, divided by the size. So it will give us the number of uh, rows and columns that we'll be having in our game. Okay, that's it. Now let's just try to print rows and columns to see how many rows and columns we have in our game. So what this is doing is basically 300 is our width, and we are subtracting four multiplied by padding, which is four into 20, 80. So will be having a, a 220 here it will be simplified to 220 divided by 20 okay so we will be having 11 rows and 11 columns i guess so you can just print it to see it let's just run it once again yes so we have 11 rows and 11 columns in our game and these 11 rows means we have 11 dots in the horizontal direction and 11 dots in the vertical direction okay now we need to create a window so we can do it but before that we have to initialize our pi game so you can do it like this then we have to create a window so you can create a window like this pi game dot display dot set mode and it takes the width and height of the very window and we have already stored in the screen variable so we are just passing the screen here directly now if we just run this game you will find the window will appear and disappear automatically okay so if you want to keep uh, this window and doesn't want this window to close automatically we will create a variable called running and give it a initial value of true okay now we will make a while loop while running which has this condition it means it's the infinite while loop because the value of running is always true and if you want to keep this window running we have to use this infinite while loop now what we can do is uh, the problem with this infinite while loop is that it will keep running and it will not be closed okay so what we want is we want to close it whenever we click this part this cut part of the of our game window so we can implement this like this for event in pygame dot event dot get now what is event uh, basically anything that you do on your desktop or laptop is an event okay for example you press the key keyboard key you press a mouse click okay like this or you make a, your mouse move all these things are known as events okay and they are stored in a list called pygame.event okay so if 
we are pressing the quit button of our game window then our running variable will become false finally once we get out of the while loop we just have to close our pygame so pygame.quit now if we just run this you will see we will get a, a window like this uh, we have some issue here pygame.event.type it will not be equal to key event.type okay so let's again run this so this time this window will stay and not disappear automatically if we want to close it we have to click this button here so if you click on this our event will be checked which is equal to pygame.quit and our running variable will become false and we will get out of the infinite value the next thing that we have to do is we have to create a few colors that i want to define for my game and in pygame you can define colors using rgb values which stands for red green and blue okay so 255 255 these are uh, some values and you don't have to remember them you can just copy paste or you can just search for a particular rgb value on internet and then blue okay uh, if i write anything in capital letters it means it's a constant value okay in pygame we don't have a concept of constant any variable value can be modified so if we type anything in capital letters it is considered as a constant okay so 0 2 5 5 and 0 and finally i want one more uh, color black so 12 12 12 okay now let's start the first thing that i want to do is uh suppose we want to fill our window with some color so what we have to do is win dot fill we have this method to fill our window with any color that we want suppose if i want to fill it with white color i can just pass white here but if i just run this game you will see nothing will appear on the screen the window will still be black uh, if you are doing something on your window the one thing that you have to do in the end or the last of your game is to, you have to update your window so you can just update your window like this pygame.display.update and if you don't write this line anything that you will do will not appear on the window so now it will appear our window will get filled with white okay so what i want is i want to fill my window with currently with black color then now the next thing that we want to do is we want to create dots for our game so we can create it like this or uh, uh, we can do it like this for r in range i hope you already know about the range function it generates number from 0 up to given number minus 1 okay for c in uh, calls we can for c in range calls and if you want to create a pi uh, draw circle uh, in pygame you have to use this method pygame dot draw dot circle okay see what we are doing is we are trying to draw these dots on our game screen game window so you can do it like this the first thing the first argument that this method takes is the window on which we want to draw the circles then the color i want to draw the circle color by white color and then we have to give the x and y position of our circle so i want my x value to be c into cell size plus 2 into padding now uh, let's not add the padding part yet okay and then uh, this is the x position now we want to pass the uh, y position so we can pass it like this r into cell size okay currently we are not implementing padding then you have to pass the radius of a circle which i am passing as 2 pixels if i just run this now you will see several dots will appear on the game screen see dots are appearing but the problem is that they, they are touching this left border i want to give a space like there here this is a space here this is a space i want to create spaces like this so uh, what we can do is we can use the concept of padding here okay we have a variable called padding so we can just add this value to this variables and these things will be padded it's 2 into padding now you can just try printing the value of this cell size and padding or this entire xy position to understand it better okay i have already created this game so i know what values to use for my version of this game you can just change these values okay according to yourself now see uh, it's good it looks looks good we have these dots here aligned here now uh, i want a greater padding at the top because i want to show player one score and player two score here okay so that's why there's a greater padding on the top now the problem is that we want to one more dots uh, series of one more dots here okay because 
uh, this is not the end part we want a box like this so what we can do is we can just increase this uh, by plus one that's all and we don't have to do anything more okay so if i just run this now yes it looks better so yes this one looks good we have one more uh, row and one more column okay uh, the next things that we want to do is we want to know where we are clicking on the screen okay so what we can do is uh, first of all uh, let's create a variable called position we will give it as a none value it means we haven't clicked anywhere on the screen okay and you can check for where you are clicking on the screen in this event handler part this for loop is known as event handler part because all the events will be handled here so you can check for another condition if event dot type equals pi game dot mouse button down okay so what we can do we can store the current position of our mouse in this pause variable even dot pause like this okay what this means is if you are clicking somewhere on the window it it position uh, the position of your mouse click will be stored in a variable called position okay that's it now we can just make another if condition to make it back to false okay let's not do it yet uh, suppose we want to show this uh, click on a window we can do it like this if position it means if there's some position in the post variable you can just create another circle here okay so pygame dot draw dot circle instead let's make it using the red color okay and instead of passing this much calculation here you can directly pass the position variable directly here okay so this time we will know where we are clicking on the screen if i click here see we are able to click here click here click here click here okay so anywhere we click it creates a dot here okay it looks good now in the next tutorial we'll be learning how to create edges on this uh, dots okay or how to create edges around our cells so this is it for this tutorial guys uh, one more thing if you don't like this thing uh, our screen will not be refreshed okay if you click here all the clicks will be maintained i don't want this i want my screen to be repainted every time at every frame per second okay so that's why i have implemented this part so this is it in the next tutorial we'll be learning how to create cells in our game okay so thanks for watching if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section if you're new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next tutorial